So when it comes to fall desserts, I think chai spice is an amazing thing to do because it's easily overlooked and you usually just think of it as a drink. But oh my God, these chai spice cupcakes are unbelievable. I took my amazing vanilla bean cupcake recipe and added some chai spice. And don't worry, I will show you exactly how to make chai spice. It is not difficult at all. The recipe can be found using the link in my description below along with my other social media. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can join me every Wednesday for new episodes of Bake It With AJ. These cupcakes are like fall in your mouth. So let's get started. So chai spice is really easy to do. All you have to do is mix together in a small bowl one teaspoon of ground cardamom, a teaspoon of ground allspice, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, three teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cloves, <gasps> big breath, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and I promise that's it. Six of these magic ingredients together make the famous chai spice that we all know and love. I like to keep this on hand to add it to really anything. You can add it to pancakes, waffles, whatever. Make chai spice your life, people. Now, as for the rest of this, we have a cupcake tray that I've lined with liners and I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Now for our wet ingredients in a measuring cup, I'm just going to be adding a quarter cup of vegetable oil with two large room temperature eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a third of a cup of sour cream that is also at room temperature. Just mix all of that together until it's really nicely combined. Go ahead and set that aside, and let's move over to our stand mixer with the paddle attachment. In goes one and three quarters cup of cake flour with one cup of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half tablespoons of our lovely chai spice mixture that we just threw together. I'm also going to add in a half a stick of unsalted butter that's totally softened to room temperature. And this is all going to get mixed on a low to medium speed until it is the texture of breadcrumbs. It should only take about a minute. Once it's to that point, go ahead and slowly add in that wet mixture from before, just in a light constant drizzle like this until it is almost completely incorporated. Before it is, go ahead and add about two thirds of a cup of room temperature milk and then mix that on a low speed until it just barely comes together. Be sure not to overmix that here. You don't want tough cupcakes. Now to distribute these, I am using a two and a half inch cookie scoop just because it makes all of them the same. I'm a control freak, I'm OCD. I just like it all look the same. If you don't have a cookie scoop, you can use a spoon. Just fill these about two thirds of the way full. You don't wanna overfill them, they'll spill over and if you underfill them, they'll bake faster and dry out. So two thirds of the way full. And then these go in the 350 degree oven for about mm, 13 to 16 minutes, give or take, until a toothpick comes out clean or until you touch the top and it gently springs back. You want to let these cool in the pan for about 5 minutes and then transfer them to a rack to cool completely. Now for the frosting, in our stand mixer with the paddle attachment, I have two sticks of unsalted butter that's totally softened to room temperature, very important, that we're beating about four minutes on high speed until it's paler in color, light and fluffy. Then go in with about three teaspoons of vanilla extract. Yes, that's a lot, but we need it for this frosting. Incorporate that on a high speed for about another minute. And then go in with your confectioner sugar, as always, a half a cup at a time on a low speed first. And then once you add that in, go ahead and kick it up to high for about 10 seconds to keep it light and fluffy and keep repeating this process until you've added two to three cups of your sugar or until the frosting is as sweet as you like it. And then either pipe or spread it on top of your cooled cupcakes, dust a little more of that chai spice on there. And there you have it folks, fall cupcakes. So as always, make sure your cupcakes are completely cooled before you frost them so you don't have a giant melty mess because we worked way too hard for things to fail at this point, didn't we? And I kid you not, people, I already tasted one. So did my sister, she ate it in five seconds and these are pretty amazing. It tastes like fall in a bite. It's everything I love in a cupcake and you will love it too. The recipe can be found using the link in my description, so go check that out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out my other videos on my channel. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And of course, leave me some comments because I wanna know what's going on in your life. I got nothing going on, so tell me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Mmm. <laughs> Cream supreme. 
They are really, really good though. No, I'm not. I'm probably gonna have another one of these. This is a twofer. 